So hello friends and today we shall be discussing about how to run a python file in uh, visual studio code so that will again be a continuation of uh, the visual studio code uh, series so what i do is i would just simply start uh, with in my priyanka folder the main directory i've created and if you've not watched the previous two videos please go ahead and watch it because this is continuation of that they're very short videos so you can just hardly take five minutes go to the new file now I want it in Python I'm running this file in Python so what I do is I'll make first dot by I'll give a py extension and I create this now when I create this notice the most important thing is that the logo it is started getting I start getting this Python logo another important thing which you should know is the bar this horizontal bar which you can see in the end the blue bar this shows my editor compiler here right i'm using python 3.7.6 64-bit conda okay and this would be my acting as my editor here my compiler right now another thing is that the language i'm using would be displayed here that is python all right I suppose I would be working on Java or or on JavaScript or uh, R then here the language would have been changed and also the interpreter right now do you how do you set this interpreter you go to the command panel of this either you can go from here command palette control shift P or directly you can just hit control shift P and you will be redirected here okay now here what you can do is you can simply write python and install all your dependencies it will show you that you install python you install jupyter and all the important things which will be recommended to you okay so just go ahead and install that because i have already been installed these python and and conda i've activated my base right so what you do is uh, and if you face problem in these dependencies how to go about it since because i have already done it i um, don't know which step you might face a problem so you can just write it in the comment section wherever you are facing a problem there you might face a few glitches but uh, by the end of the day you would be able to you know uh, go and install this python and all the dependencies needed to run your python file in visual studio so I'll simply start with writing, uh, you know, in Python, it is very easy. You don't have to really work on it. So simply I'm writing print hello all. And I will write here, I shift and enter. If I click, it will, can you see this in terminal? The output is, okay, it is, it is again, it is giving me uh, hello all. Okay, in the terminal, I can find hello all. Now, if I uh, just go ahead and write here, A equals to suppose uh, 5 plus 7 and i tell it to print a shift enter uh, so it is giving me 12 can you see this okay that means my python uh, python uh, code is working fine here in the visual studio code because i have uh, firstly given an extension called py so it is giving me the python and you can see that now suppose if i make a new file and i name it as um, new dot uh, okay new dot md now this is a markdown file it will give me a markdown symbol can you see that and it will give me a preview now there's a difference when i go for the python file i am not getting that preview option but when i go to the hello dot md file or something like that i can see these options here the preview options and so i see that right and this this is with litwis this when you uh, when you install this dependency like suppose i go to the command palette and i write here markdown i have got this markdown preview enhanced with litwis already installed so when i have got this thing installed you can see the preview like this right okay so this is a very basic code editor which you can see in the markdown if you have got a markdown file you'll be able to see this in in, in such such a thing but uh, uh, another thing is that in in Py python file you would not be able to see this uh, this thing because you don't get any option for the purview here okay you can see the more more options here but you would not see that so that is a basic difference and uh, that's why i i was actually facing a problem when i was working with python file and i had to um, 
you know, convert it into MD and do my work on it, show it in the text editor of Visual Studio Code. So I think of making a video of it so that you can just simply go ahead and use your, uh, you know, you use it, you use these videos for your good. And that is being covered in the second video. So you will be provided the links and the description in the end screen. So just go ahead and see that. And uh, if you have any problem, want any video on Visual Studio Code, just let me know in the comment section and I'll come up with that. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. And thanks for watching.